These are the best graphic settings for Black Ops to boost your frames and make your game look the best it possibly can. To get started if you're on console, you will of course notice I have a lot more settings available to me because I am of course on a PC. But don't worry, all the base console graph settings are all still here for you. I always play full screen exclusive. You get the most frames by doing so versus window or borderless. And obviously you want to choose whatever monitor you're using and the same for graphics card and the same for whatever your screen refresh rate is. Mine's 165, so I have mine set to 165. Aspect ratio, I don't touch that, I just leave that to automatic. And the same for display gamma. For brightness, I up this slightly to 55 to make things more visible for me in my opinion. And of course, this, like a lot of the settings, can come down to personal preference and different systems, etc. So don't be too scared to have a play about with them and see what works out best for you. Reflex low latency is all dependent on if your GPU bound or CPU bound. So if you have the telemetry turned on for your GPU and CPU, the higher number would be what is for you. So if it's GPU bound, you just have it on. If it's CPU bound, have it on plus boost like I do. For eco mode, you can have that to off and the same for all the V-Sync settings. And for menu render resolution, I have this to native just to keep the menus looking nice and fresh in my opinion. Pause game rendering off and same focus mode you just have that set to zero. You do not need any HDR on so you'd have that set to off as well. Switching over to quality settings keep it on your standard render resolution and the dynamic resolution makes the game look a little bit off to me so I just set that to off. I like to use Fidelity Cast I think the sharpening with it is great and I keep that at around 90 which keeps things visible and looking good for me and gives me good frames and the VRAM scale target at 80 but you can bump this up to 90 if you want if you're struggling and the text is a little bit off just put that up to 90 you'll be absolutely fine variable rate shading on this helps out a ton of your frames as well and then i turn off frame gen for details and textures this is very much system dependent so if you have a crazy good pc you can go ahead and whack everything up to max if you want and i'm sure you'll be absolutely fine but for the majority of you and myself you want to go with these that i have i like to go for a mix of high frames and the game still looks pretty so texture resolution i keep on normal and the same for texture filter do not have have depth of field on at all we do not need any extra blur nearby level of detail is normal and particle resolution is low it's not super important feature but it has a lot of impact on frames in different situations bullet impacts and persistent effects i like to keep on just helps me when i'm trying to look at recoil control in the firing range or something like that i like to see where the bullets are going shade equality to high or medium either is absolutely fine again there's not too much impact on your system now unfortunately on demand texture streaming is forced on now either optimized or to minimal I keep mine optimized, it doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. So if you have decent bandwidth, you can just leave this. But if you do find you're having some problems, set the stream quality to low. Shadows are important, so I have these on normal. Screen space shadows I have to low, and screen space ambient lighting to low as well. Screen space reflections I have off altogether, purely for the fact it's easier to see enemies if they're behind glass or on water of this set to off. And the reflection quality I have on low too. Tessellation I have set to off and volumetric quality to medium. Weather grid volumes I have set to normal and water quality I have set to all. If you are really struggling to with frames then you can turn that to off but for me it's absolutely fine on all. Moving on to view I keep the basic motion reduction off. For field of view I play on 110. You hear lots of people saying 120 is the best but I found it can be harder to when aiming at players in a distance and I think 110 is the sweet spot for me. But I know a lot of pros suggest anywhere from 105 to 120 so it's really just what you're most comfortable with. ADS field of view is set to affected and both weapon and vehicle field of view set to wide. Motion blur and weapon motion blur straight to off and first camera movement least 50. With the inverted flashbang I just leave that as off. If you want to have it turned on so your screen goes black instead of bright white that's entirely up to you. For the best audio and controller settings click the videos on screen now and make sure to like and subscribe the video.